Hi everybody, it is July 16th, 2014, and I just wanted to talk with everybody uh, prior to my Greece trip, which I'm leaving for Greece next Friday for a little bit, and I wanted to just uh, touch on some things here. First thing I want to touch on is action and how important action is. You know, I sit and I look at some of these famous movie stars and some of these famous authors and some of these famous singers, and I think to myself, why are they famous? You know, why is Will Smith being able to do what Will Smith has been able to, been able to do? Why has Jay Z been able to do what he's been able to do? You know, why has uh, Tony Robbins been able to do what he's been able to do with books? And the reason is because these guys took action. It's not only about the fact that they actually you know, believed in what they wanted to do, they actually set forth and did it. And that's the thing. If you're listening to this right now, you are the elite. You are the elite part of this planet. You are a small portion of people who have decided to go outside their comfort zone. And there's probably some really amazing singers, some really amazing authors out there. There's probably some really amazing uh, actors out there who never took action. They never were willing to try and utilize their talent or somebody told them that they weren't going to be good enough and because somebody told them they weren't going to be good enough they believed it and they lived a life of mediocrity okay a mediocre life the top 10 film producers the top 10 authors of books in this world right now you guys don't even know what they look like you never even have heard their names but they are very successful people who had a vision and who took action and they are behind the scenes, ordinary people. People that are ordinary that believed in, in writing a book, believed in writing a script, believed in writing a, a musician, a musician, musical art. And guys, if you don't take action in what you believe in, you're not going to gain results. There's three things in life you gotta know. One, if you don't try, you'll never know. Two, if you don't ask, the answer will always be no. And if three, if you don't move forward in life, you're always going to be in the same place. So that's what we're talking about tonight is action. I also talk a lot about vision. Vision is something that you have to have along with your team and network marketing, along with your spouse, along with any time you're in a business venture, anything like that. You have to have vision. Imagine if a football team didn't have vision. How could they, if they didn't have the same vision, how could they win a Super Bowl? The quarterback, the running backs, the wide receivers, the line, they all have to have the same vision. They're all going to get to the Super Bowl differently. Some are going to get their running. Some are going to get their passing. Some are going to get their blocking, just like different individuals. Some of us will get there with webinars. Some of us will get there with DVDs. Some of us will get there with home meetings. Okay. Some of us will be faster than others. Some of us will be slower than others. Okay. But yeah, as a team with the same vision, we can go to the Super Bowl. Okay. So if the quarterback and the wide receiver don't have the same vision, it's not going to work when one throws the ball to the other. He's not going to catch the ball. He's not going to be in the same route he has to be. He's going to miss the ball. So there's a vision that you have to create. If you don't create a vision in your business and if you don't find like-minded individuals, all you need is a few that have the same vision, you cannot be successful. Same thing in dating, guys. You know, I, I've dated people who didn't have the same vision as I did, and because of that, I couldn't stay in that relationship because I didn't want to have a life of mediocre, a mediocre life. I didn't want to have a, a life of mediocrity. I wanted to have a better life. I wanted to find somebody who had the same vision as me, who believes in what I believe in so that we can get to the next level in life together. Same thing with this business. you got to find a couple people that believe in the same thing you believe in so that you can get to the next level. You know, I always say your net worth or your network is your net worth. Guys, I've been able to, for $329, build an empire, okay? I've made between my income and the assets that I own over seven figures worth from $329, okay? And it all came from networking. It came from my mom knowing somebody, because she was successful, that got her interested in the business, who got me interested in the business, somebody who helped me you know, read the right book, to buy the right property, to find the right person, to show me how to get a line of credit, to find the right person, to show me how to get good deals and in investments and properties, to teach me all that stuff. To, to find somebody else in my, in, my, in my life who was able to show me how to get lines of credit, an unsecured credit. Somebody else who taught me how to refinance loans that I had to get lower interest rates. Somebody who taught me how to go out and, 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 and play the stock market and which stocks to look for and how to look for them. And I keep learning and learning and learning so much that my assets and my, and my income keeps increasing over time. And that's all from just Pennsylvania and a few states around it because of Ignite. Can you imagine what's going to happen in the future, guys, when we have 50 states, 50 states to, to meet successful, great 
people to become friends with them who will guide you in life, who will coach you in life, who will mentor you in life, who will help you develop into the better version of yourself than you are today. The network is priceless, okay? For $329, I was able to do all that. For $329, I was able to do something in my life that has completely changed it, that has completely changed other people's lives to the point where I did something where when I meet somebody in my life, I actually get to see them present the best version of themselves to me. That is huge, okay? Huge. I mean, think of where we're going. We're going to 50 states. I already have over 4,000 contacts on my phone. In my car, I can't automatically dial dial anybody past the letter M because I have so many contacts. My Facebook page is almost filled. It's almost at 5,000 capacity. That is just in three years in one state. I make 99% of my income in Pennsylvania. I cannot imagine what is going to happen here if we become a nationwide company. And I feel really sorry for those that decided that they didn't want to wait. I really feel sorry for those who did not believe their dreams were worth the time to put into it. You better be here when it explodes, guys. You better be here when that wave comes because if you're not, you're going to be regretting it because this is an opportunity of a lifetime. It's only going to happen once. It's not going to happen again, okay? And the thing is, though, you got to believe. You got to believe in the process. You got to believe in the journey. You got to believe in yourself. And you got to follow up on the things that you said you were going to do. If you said you're going to go to a meeting, you go to the meeting. If you're going to say you're going to be on a webinar, get on the webinar. If you said you're going to be on a phone call, get on that phone call, okay? Don't be somebody who's, you know, who takes steps back. Hey, I'm going to go help my mom cut the lawn this Sunday. Then you don't show up. I'm going to go to my brother's house and, and, and play with my, my niece and nephew. Then you don't show up. Okay, don't be somebody who steps back all the time. There's too many of those people that are going to, they say they're going to do something and they just don't do it, okay? They just don't do it. You got to be dedicated, guys. You got to be dedicated. You got to be, you know, so dedicated that you're willing to push your body past the brink of exhaustion, okay? My body said to me, no, no more phone calls. No, you can't answer any more emails. No, you can't drive anymore. No, you can't do any more meetings. And I said, yes, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can, guys. Because I decided that I wanted to choose a life of improvement over a life of average, okay? And I kept telling my body yes, and I kept pushing myself to the brink, okay? Success is a series of small things done well. Just keep doing small things very well, and you can be very successful, guys, okay? Um, what else do I want to talk about tonight? You know, other than that, I just want you guys to understand that, you know, you're going to need those goals again. Let's go over goals, and we're going to need to take action, and we're going to have to have that vision, and we're going to have to believe that we've already achieved it, okay? If you're listening to me right now, there's no reason why you should not be so confident that you actually tell the universe, <clears throat> excuse me, you tell the universe the things that you want, that you already achieved the house that you want, you already achieved the car that you want, you've already achieved the money that you want, you've already achieved the network that you want. Because if you don't believe in it that much, then why are you listening to me right now, okay? If you're scared right now and you don't really think you're gonna do it, why, why are you in this business? You gotta get to the point where you're so confident that you ask the universe for what you want and it brings it to you, okay? You put it out there like you've already done it. You've already seen yourself do it. You guys are going to do it. You're going to do it. you got to tell yourself you're going to do it. Now, if the universe takes a little bit of time to make it happen, that's fine. It might take a little bit of time because the universe is very busy right now uh, finishing my list of things that I've been asking for it to do for me. And it's doing a very good job of it, guys. But I'm telling you right now, guys, it's a law of attraction, okay? you got to attract what you want. You got to attract it. I know it sounds crazy, but you just I'm telling you, change your attitude, change your demeanor, change the circle of friends if they're not the right people, change the circumstances if they're not the right circumstances, but get yourself to the point where you see what you want, you feel it, you breathe it, you sleep it, you wake up, you eat it, you're, everything is about that goal and everything's about that why and what you want. And you make yourself become the person, okay? Because the version you are today is not the version that's going to be when you have that success. You're going to grow into a new version. So the failures and all the hardships and all the other things you're going through right now is getting you ready to become that person that you're going to need to be when you get to that level. And you got to show other people how to do what you're doing, okay? I want to touch base with you guys. It's been a while since I made a video. It's a long video. Uh, if you're listening to this video, I'm proud of you. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, I'm telling you right now, I'm severely proud of you because you guys are the elite you're a group of individuals who are wanting more out of life in this short life that we have. And you want the best. And you want to give your family the best. And you want to give your kids the best. And you want to leave behind a legacy. You want to be remembered as somebody who went out swinging. 
okay, who wanted everything they possibly could get out of this life that we were given and utilized the, their God-given talents to make the best of it. I'm proud to be on this team with you guys. I'm proud to be going to the future with you guys. And I'm proud to continue to lead everybody because where we're going, only a small group will ever achieve. And it's just amazing, guys. Take care and uh, have a great night.